Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Friday Flash. I'm Lynn Hunsaker with Clear Action Continuum. Today, we're talking about trust. This is part of our Smoothing Silos series, exploring solutions to things in business that should be connected but aren't. Silos cause gaps in customers' ease of doing business and in employees' ease of work. Ease of doing business and ease of work don't necessarily mean effortlessness, but they do mean prevention of, of negative surprises. Essentially, the value proposition that people engaged in, in uh, buying something from you or in interacting with you at any level, needs to be honored with uh, minimum negatives. So trust is uh, essential to, to that. And as if you think about it, trust really drives assumption silos, goal silos, and handoff silos. And to the extent that these are strong or not, all of your technology solutions and other endeavors in the operational silos will be helped or hindered. When we're talking about uh, trust today, we're going to be referring to interactions you have with others. And in this case, we mean both internally and externally. You may have internal customers in your, in your organization, including people uh, in your own group, and you may have external customers that you interface with among uh, agencies, suppliers, alliances, uh, customers, the media, community, investors, and so forth. So trust is earned when we have shared interest. This is the seed that builds it all. When you find things that you care about in the other person's world, when you find uh, that you're, when you show that you're caring about the other person's needs, shared understanding increases. When you have uh, demonstrated that you uh, are creative in meeting those needs, shared expectations is established. And when you do what you say, consistency is, uh, is illustrated. So trust really requires these four steps and consistency is really the name of the game for relationship strength and trust in both internal and external relationships of any nature. The components of trust begin with credibility. This is uh, how much people feel that the words I say, the skills and credentials that I have, and the way that they experience me are believable. Reliability is how much people feel that the actions I take and the way that they experience me can be relied upon. Confidability is how much people feel that they can confide in me and perceive that I am discreet and empathetic to them. And focus on others is how much people feel that I'm focused on them instead of myself. Just about everybody has two of these that are their most strong on. Now you may know right off which two are your key strengths, but a good exercise would be to ask some people who've seen you in action, who's, who can stand in the shoes of others who've interfaced with you and give you a rating on which of these, uh, well, how strong, are, how strong you are with these four components of trust, uh, giving a rank order from one to four. So across those four components of trust, uh, any combination here com uh, creates a profile. So I'm the expert if you trust me because I know how to do this and you can count on me to get the job done. I'm the steward if you trust me because you know you can count on me to get the job done and I'm focused on your interests. I'm the doer if you trust me because you know you can get count on me to get the job done and you know you can confide in me. I'm the connector if you trust me because you know you can confide in me and I'm focused on your interest. I'm the professor if you trust me because I know how you to do this and I'm focused on your interest. And I'm the catalyst if you trust me because uh, I'm credible and confidable. So the studies have shown that uh, the uh, most people are expert or steward 
And uh, the other roles are in decreasing order as shown here in uh, today's population and society. And interestingly, the study shows also that the highest trust levels are among the doers, the connectors, and the catalysts. What do these three have in common? There's uh, confidability is in common for all three, and other focus is another feature. These two elements of trust seem to be the least strength, uh, the least common strengths for most of us, where our educational system has kind of trained us up and also introductory uh, job positions also uh, rely quite a lot on credibility and reliability. So if we want to increase our trust with others, especially in customer experience, customer success, customer care and marketing roles, we need to make sure that we're navigating to higher degrees of confidability and focus on others in the way that people evaluate our interactions with them. Interestingly, studies have shown that the highest degree of trust is accomplished by being consistent across the strength level that we have in each of the four components of trust. So for example, if you are at a certain level of credibility, you should also be at that level of reliability, confidability, and focus on others. The degree of difference between the four components in terms of your strengths will erode trust as others see you more than just increasing your tr trustworthiness in focus on others or confidability, for example. So this would be a really important thing to experiment with in the ways that you're interacting with others and uh, see, see if the way that they're viewing you is changed over time. This topic and many others are part of the customer-focused communication course at clearaction.com. This module is uh, advising and partnering through trust. And this includes many templates and uh, exercises so that you can apply this to things in your everyday life. You may want to uh, explore the other topics in this course, checking assumptions, listening effectively, asking the right questions, communicating effectively remotely, and managing intended outcomes. All of these modules are included in the Clear Action Value Exchange, along with much, much more. Enterprise use of customer experience insights and compelling CX-centered action drives agility in your organization, both your own department as well as your enterprise. Customer lifetime value mindsets and actions and aligned stakeholder motivations drives alignment internally and externally. Respect and interdependencies and consistency to intentions drives accountability. Get your free 14-day trial of the Clear Action Value Exchange today. Mm -hmm.